family of Arnold Davis knows who killed him. They've known it for 40 years. That's how long Kenneth Sandlin has been in prison. However, a parole board could decide that he's been in there long enough. Angela Ingram spoke with the family about their fears if Sandlin does get out. He was a wonderful little man. Hard working, by the way. Didn't bother nobody. It takes every bit of strength for Aileen Allen to talk about her son, Arnold Davis. Arnold was one of nine children, and though he's been gone for 40 years, it still hurts. Just something hard to live with. But I do the best I can to go on for my other family. In 1978, Kenneth Sandlin and Michael Barrett brutally murdered Arnold. They also tortured and repeatedly raped his girlfriend, and they dumped Arnold's body down a well. But my mom wanted to forget about it the best that she could. You know, this was her son that got brutally murdered. Arlene Allen was an infant when her brother was killed. She's joining with the rest of her siblings to keep Sandlin in prison. Sandlin, who's now in his 60s, is up for parole. To me, if he gets out, we're constantly going to be living in prison. It kind of reverses. He gets out and we go in because we're constantly going to be looking over our shoulder. We're constantly going to be wondering where he's at. Sandlin and Barrett lured Arnold and his girlfriend to this field, saying they were taking them to a party. The coroner stopped after counting the 80th stab wound on Arnold's body. This is painful for the family, but they're speaking out in order to keep Sandlin locked up. The way he done Arnold, my boy, he should have to stay there for life, and that's what I want. I want him there for life. As a Christian, we have to forgive, but that does not mean that we want him free. I think that, you know, the brutality of the murder that he did and how he did it, he needs to start the rest of his life in prison. Warren County Prosecutor David Fornshell has been outspoken about keeping Sandlin locked away in prison. The family has an opportunity to go before the parole board on July 16th. In Warren County, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News and Barrett died in prison. Now there is a parole watch petition to keep Sandlin locked up. We have a link to that at local12.com.